his child. Brian Claypool, criminal defense attorney. Right, Jane. What Mo just said proves my point. From day one, I've been saying that this guy has been distracted. He's got, a, he's got an addiction to sex. He's got multiple personalities. This is a typical case for arguing a diminished capacity. He's not fit to be a parent. He's worried about everything else in the world, lying to all these women. It's not a calculated murder, Jane. This is oh, a oh. reckless person. Oh, oh, wait, wait. You're suggesting that because he was sexting, he was actually distracted and this was an accidental death? Oh, that's he insane. Was, he, he's, listen, if you're a guy, look, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy, still a guy. I, I'm a single man. I will tell you, point blank, Jane, that I'm a single parent now because six or seven years ago, I had some issues I personally was dealing with. That, that, that parallel a little bit about what happened here without getting to too much detail. And I will tell you that when you're doing these things, you are distracted. Your mind is not focused on things that, that normal parents would be focused on. You're thinking about okay, Brian, did... other things. You're obsessed with other things. Well, uh, Brian, did let... you forget your kid for seven hours? He didn't forget his kid for seven hours. He was thinking about other things yeah, and he didn't realize that his kid was in the car. Listen, I, there's plenty of parents out there that have gone somewhere and they've got a lot in their mind and they forget that their child's Jane, in the car. He was thinking about other... Them, that doesn't make them a first degree murderer. No, it may, but that's not the case in this instance. It wasn't that he was so distracted that he forgot. He was so distracted that he didn't want to be a parent anymore. He was so distracted that he wanted to get rid of his child so he could focus his energy on those type of things. He's not... He yeah, no it was prior clear, history. It was clear that he you don't wanted all, and so that's why he used past tense because he knew that it would be a dreadful death. Brian, hey, hey Jane, hey Jane, there, there's no playbook for how to react to trauma. It's not like going to the bookstore and buying mm -hmm. a, a book on how to bake a cake, and you, you get the directions and go home to your kitchen and make a cake. There's no there's no such book for dealing with trauma. We're analyzing every single word that he's using, every single e lack of emotion that she has to come to some conclusion that they are premeditated collaborative murderers. And I want to okay, remind Brian, everybody Brian, that we need, we need evidence. Sure, he that's said we need evidence. The child's eyes were closed. Yes. Detectives say the child's eyes were open. He said the child looked peaceful. Detectives said the child's tongue was sticking out and he was in the process of rigor mortis. Yeah. Uh, uh why those lies? Jane, Why those lies? Jane, Jane, sometimes, sometimes parents aren't fit to be parents. And what they do is they have a negative view on the world. And maybe they don't want their kids to live in this world because of all the bad things happening in this world. And sometimes they may have thoughts. What would it be and like? Right, sometimes, right. My and then sometimes they and sometimes anymore. they commit murder. So when they have those exactly. thoughts and they go exactly. to the next step and then they commit murder, which is what happened here. So to say like we're just looking at the emotions or we're looking all those things are gonna be introduced at trial. A lot of those things are gonna mm. matter as to their thought until as Mo, to what was Mo, going be, on. Mo, well and, and Mo, yeah, before I know you give your closing behavior, argument. Human Behavior. Before you give your closing behavior, argument, Mo, you behavior. need to g gather gather mental health information on sure. Justin. Sure. Gather all the medical records on Cooper, and then let's sure. get together well, and let's have another discussion. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, guys, horse. I got to introduce Chris.